every household needs a central messaging station. It's a great place to post to-do lists, grocery lists, chore lists, and chalkboards are a fun way to do that because they can be easily erased. I am at Mama's Happy today with Amanda and she is going to show us all kinds of fun and unique ways to make chalkboards out of just about anything. Truly, with chalkboard paint, you can turn just about any surface into a chalkboard. All it right, has made it so easy. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are going to take, these are just an old window that I picked up. What have you done to prepare this window before we are going to make it a chalkboard? Okay, so um, up until now, I've done absolutely nothing. Okay. Okay. Now, sometimes if it's, perfect. A, it's my kind of project. a surface like glass that's perfectly smooth, you want to rough it up just a little bit. So in that case, you're just going to take your sandpaper and just skim it over the whole thing. Okay. Okay. Oh, just yep, and all you're doing is just giving it, you're getting a little grit on there so that the paint has something to stick to. Now, it doesn't feel like it's doing much, but it, it is. You won't necessarily see it, but you'll, trust me. And it's it, a it pretty helps. fine sandpaper. Yes, this is 220, and you could use, I would say anything right around 220 is best. So you can see kind of the light scuff marks yes. on there. Okay, yes. so then you have to decide if you want to use the um, spray can chalkboard paint or if you want the kind that you put on with a brush. Okay. Okay. So this might be the easiest way to go, and this is just um, something you picked up at you like can your get hardware that store. Any or? hardware store nowadays. Okay. So I was just about to ask, yes. do we have to tape? Okay. So with spray paint, I would definitely tape. And so I'll just give you any of the painters' tapes. What's so great about these is just that they are easy to take back off, and they don't take the paint off with them. Okay. So you're basically just wanting to cover anything that you don't want the paint to get onto. Okay. So once you have that all taped, yep. So up, tape all the way around, all the way obviously. Around. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then you'd be ready to just put the spray paint on. All right. Should we get started? Let's give it a try. And then, how thick of a coat do I need? With spray paint, what you want to do is several light coats is better. Got it. Yep. Let me. I think it's because we're trying to do it at the right angle. See if you can do it <clears throat> easier that way. So just kind of a systematic approach, yep. covering the whole surface. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I won't make you go through the labor of okay. getting it all but finished. We basically cover this whole window. Right. And then we are ready to roll. So now this window actually had panes in it. Um, so this is fun because it's kind of already divided. Yeah. So especially for someone like you with four children. Okay, so then we picked up here right where you left off with the other one. So that one's fully painted. So let's just take, let's set it down. You can remove the tape. And then one important thing I have picked up along the way is the importance of, they call it seasoning your chalkboard. Yes. Okay, and what you want to do, many times people will find they write something on there and they erase it, but you can still see it a little bit. Yes. So the tip to have that not happen is to just take your piece of chalk and roll it over the entire chalkboard. The sound is terrible if you can stand it. And what that's doing is basically just getting a little bit of chalk dust in all those crevices mm -hmm. so that when you erase it now, it's going to come off easier. You won't see what you've written yes. each time. Okay, so then we'll just wipe that off. Okay, here we'll trade you. And so you really only need to do that before your first before you write your first thing on there. Okay. It gives it kind of a nice look. It's not that it doesn't look brand new. Right, yeah, okay. right. I like that too. You could write an inspirational message here. You could write an inspirational message. You could just simply write something that you would love for everyone that comes into your home to see. I'm writing a little message for you. Just a shameless plug. All right, perfect. All right, so now what else do we have? another idea is that we can use other things. So. Maybe you don't have an old window laying around, but maybe you're able to get your hands on um, cabinet doors. So this is another thing you can pick up at um, home reuse centers or salvage yards, and many times as inexpensively as a dollar. And so what we did here was just painted just the center panel with the chalkboard paint, and then painted the frame a different color. And so I've seen it done with this where you could do, you could hang actual three, you know, individual cabinet doors along a wall. Nice. This, maybe you just have, you know, an, an old frame. Um, or here's another example of an old frame. So this never had anything in it. So I would just either have a board cut or you could just take any flat surface that you have. So in the case of the chalkboard, we wouldn't actually even need to use the paint. Correct. Easy project. Very easy project. And I love just the three little sections. Yeah. 
Yeah, that too. would be a really fun chalkboard. You could even do chalkboard on one and a couple pictures or something yeah. in there. So great. Okay, and then something like this was just an old print. So just imagine, you know, garage sale finds. You can find inexpensive, ugly art. Mm -hmm. And you could either just paint right over the painting or you could take the painting out and whatever is behind it, just, just paint that surface with the chalkboard paint. So it doesn't have to be wood. No. So many great ideas and so many great ways to customize this message center for your house to be cute in kids' rooms, mm -hmm. cute in like an art area in your mm -hmm. house. I mean, awesome ideas. The possibilities are endless. All right. I love it. Thank you so much, Amanda. Yeah, thanks for having me.